All right, we'll just go right into our next guest, the very spirited Megan Bezdechek. Uh, Megan is a junior on the Augustana volleyball team. She has been named to the NSIC all-academic all team two years in a row. In 2009, Megan was one of the leading hitters on the team, averaging two kills per set. And in 2010 and 2011, she has said she has led in some different stat categories, which I hope that she shares with you. And that is why, with Megan's heart and her great story, we've invited her, her here tonight. So please welcome Megan Bezicek. I'm Megan Bezicek, and I am glad that I finally have a classification uh, as a class because I'm technically a senior, sophomore, actually. Who knows? <laughs> We're just letting it roll. Um, but I'm originally from Jackson, Minnesota, and I'm triple majoring in athletic training, which I will have my degree in in just a few short weeks. And then I'm also a biology secondary education major, which I'll be returning to Augie to finish up next year. And I should have known right away that Augie was going to be an adventure, as it took me over a year to commit to finally going to school here. Um, but I can still remember my first day at Augie. I was standing in the Grand Scout parking lot and I was just trying to get my mom out of there. I'm like, mom, you know, gotta be cool here. So let's get going. So I finally got her out of there and I was super excited to finally be out on my own, but didn't really realize what was ahead of me. So I'm sitting in my team meetings and I'm like, you know, I just really don't feel very good. And I leave and I look at my roommate at the time and I go, I'm not feeling good. And she goes, it's, you're just homesick, you know, you're going to be fine. So I'm like, all right. So I lay down to take a nap and I wake up and I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be good. So I run into the bathroom and I, you know, yes, pretty much. <laughs> and I'm standing underneath the hand dryer and one of my teammates, Bree, comes up to me and she's patting me on the back. She's from Illinois. I'm from only an hour and a half away. And she's like, it's going to be okay. It's really not that bad, you know. <laughs> it's really not as bad as it seems. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sounds good. <laughs> so we finally call Ashley and we say, you know, I'm not feeling very good. So Ashley takes me to the doctor and then uh, afterwards we go to Walgreens to <laughs> get my medication. And all of a sudden I look at her and I'm like, coach, I'm like, I, I, need, I need a bathroom again. <laughs> so late at night, Ashley and I are running around trying to find a garbage for me to again hurl in, and uh, I did right in the middle of the main aisle of the 41st Street Walgreens, so needless to say, my freshman fall camp didn't end very well, but we got through it. So after my rocky red shirt start to a ref freshman year, I ended up red shirting and got through the year, and in between, I decided to come back for my sophomore year. Um, but I was extremely unsure of what I wanted, and it showed both on and off the court. I again struggled through fall camp, and thanks to my mom's advice of fake it until you make it, I was able to realize that both Augustana was where I wanted to be and that volleyball was still my passion. I started to hit my stride, and I earned a starting position along the way. And one day during practice, I took a nasty spill, and I hurt my back. I um, can still remember laying on the ground and with my back spasming, and luckily I had a great athletic trainer to take care of me. Um, so I, I continued to play through the season. It was a struggle throughout the season. My pain continued to e increase, and my performance definitely went downhill. But I made it through, and at the end of the season, I ended up having an x-ray and an MRI to confirm a fracture. So I sat out the spring season, um, but again, I was sure that Augie is where I wanted to be and that this is what I wanted to do. So I um, went into the summer before my junior year thinking that my bad luck had to be ending soon. <laughs> and I was determined to get myself back into even better shape. Um, and once fall camp rolled around, I was really starting to hit my stride. I was playing the best that I had since coming to Augie. I was confident in my abilities and things just started to go right. And then the first game of the season rolled around and I came down from a hit and I hurt my knee and I knew instantly that something definitely wasn't right. And when I got back to Sioux Falls, um, my athletic trainer again told me to be prepared for the worst and an MRI confirmed an ACL, MCL, medial lateral meniscus tear. So it was to surgery and rehab. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, 
I ended up rehabbing and getting through it, but looking back, this was definitely one of the hardest times in my life. I had a really tough course load at the time, and it was really hard to sit on the sideline and watch my teammates. And um, I just remember the pain and the frustration of going through the rehab and trying to do something as simple as contracting my quad or bending and straightening my leg. <laughs> But I, uh, that spring I ended up getting to play again and I was excited. So that summer again I hit the gym with my strength and conditioning coach and I went out to the power center to try and get myself even back to where I was before. And then this last summer rolled around and we had all of our freshmen and all of my teammates together at camp. And I remember I was playing back row and I went to play a ball on defense and again I was like, that doesn't feel very good. <laughs> So I went into the doctor, and as it turned out, my ACL hadn't healed correctly, and I'd done more damage to my meniscus, so I was back to square one of surgery and rehab. So anyways, but I, I'm now here nine months out of my second surgery, and I'm still working to get back out on the court, but I'm thankful every day that I chose Augustana as the place to be. I don't think that I'd be, I would have been able to make it through these last four years without my faith and the strength that God gives me every day. And I'm also very thankful to my parents for standing beside me and supporting me every step of the way, especially that health insurance. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I could also not have asked for a better coaching staff or teammates along the way. They've always been there for, for me no matter how far away I pushed them or wanted to be. And I've also met some really great friends along the way. Um, and I'm also super grateful to the athletic training department, especially Emily and Marie. There's many a times that they saw me crying and have helped me through it. And I am extremely grateful to the Augustana community as a whole for the support and the encouragement that they have given me through the last four years. Thank you.